Hey, UGC, if you're listening, our boys at Unrivaled make a real good stream. I'm going to stream it on my MacBook. <laughs> Sturm is going to come stream the event. I'm not, I'm, spoilers, I will not be streaming <laughs> UGC, in case you were wondering. All right, game one, though. Game one in Grand Finals, we are underway. Knuckles are touched, and buttons are about to be pressed. Let's get to it. Net coming up through losers. Wadi remain untouched. That bounty is yet to be claimed. Bushi came the closest. Ned took the game off, but no one has completed a full set against the invader here tonight in either Ignite or Poplar. Mm-hmm. This is today has been closer than yesterday. Yesterday it seemed like it was kind of just a stomp and a half. Oh my goodness. You see the way Wadi was baiting out the uh the climb hazard there? Yeah. He's playing this cloud matchup so well. Yeah, this character is so light, he will die to a cross slash much sooner than a normal character would. Especially on Smashville, where the uh, the walls on the sides are a little bit closer to the stage. Um, getting trapped in the Smashville platform is a possibility, and that will kill you super early. Yeah. There we go. Buttons are being pressed here. Back and forth action. I can't really do... Oh, okay, he's going to make that back. It's a very oh, close but the set here, there. and Ned is not going to take first blood. He is positioned to... Yeah, he's got Wadi kind of pinned here on this corner. Limited is charge, and the Shadow Ball was charged, but not quite anymore. I like how Ned is not is making... Ooh! Ooh the back air is going to do it! Wadi just turns it around. Again, buffering an aerial out of the... Uh... Out of the confusion, command grab is sometimes not the best idea. And that appeared to be it, but there, that trade is fantastic here for Ned. 40% stack already on Ned, though. Wadi doing a good job of getting some decent percent on before a stock was taken. Ned yeah, just running into Shadow Balls. At the same time, the screen KO allowed Ned to get his limit charge, and we know how important it is for Ned to have his limit charged. Ned loves to have his limit charged. Ned's he limit is, uh, like, minus his blanking. Well, well, uh, um, huh. um, that technically happened. Um, I mean, I mean, why is not gonna say no to that? He's um, gonna be like, he's gonna be like, we do indeed take those. He had, he had limit, right? He, he had limit. He could have recovered, but just chose not to. Yeah, he just. Not today, know. man. Not yeah. today. Okay. That works, I guess. And Wadi um, wants to come out of this weekend without losing a set. And if he does it, he will get. Uh, how much back of the bounty will he get? You know, I don't know the number off the top you of my head. You know the number off the top yeah. of your head. I, to my don't call me on this, I believe a third sounds somewhat correct. That's what I've heard before. Yeah, somewhere. I, it's definitely not more than a half. No, not more than a half. No. Ooh, okay. That was a nice uh, climb hazard there. That was, it was important that he hit him with the climb hazard, otherwise he was just going to get super duper punished. Ned coming out strong this time, he, he taking that anger from the last set, the last game and bringing it out here. Yeah, he's playing a pretty oppressive neutral at the moment, taking Measley. his time, getting his limit charge, there it is. There it is, measly 13% stacked on when Wadi's a kill percent here. That's and the going pivot! To do it! Great stock by Ned. He is poised to do well this game. But he Wadi's just, so good, has the chance just to turn it right back around. Ned was overwhelming him in the neutral there. That's yeah. rare to see Wadi play like that. Particularly because he has never been looked that overwhelmed this entire weekend. Or week. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, I would say Bushi definitely came the closest at both Ignite and tonight at Poplar. Bushi gave him the hardest run for his money, but other than that, he's had cool runnings, man. Yeah, so far it's been a pretty easy weekend for Wadi. Just yeah. Pressing all the buttons he wants. We're throwing and shade at our own players out here in the Chicago. Hey man, I do what I gotta do. Oh, that yeah, sniper like not that. gonna take it though. Snapping ledge. Very safe option. Wadi trying to get a pivot grab there. Buffering a neutral air did pay out for Ned that time. That time it did. I think he, he like might have misinputted and buffered Dare you on that so? first on that first stock of game one. There's that uh, input lock uh, that uh, was found where... The, uh, the Yoshi egg yeah, lay the Yoshi input egg lock? Thing. That works for any sort of lock. Yeah, it's possible that might have happened. It's possible that might have happened. I know Ned's... Uh, when he's playing, he looks to be a masher. 
Well, they're going to trade SDs here. They are going to trade SDs here. That'll put Ned on the board. Back back. I, I think that Mewtwo just didn't have a really good read on how much Shadow Ball he had charged, and then it sent him way far bouncing back. That could have been. That could have been. And Shadow Ball does send you a ways. Uh, it's like corn back air. Mewtwo counterpicks immediately to Battlefield. Immediately to Battlefield. This is... This is, uh... This isn't uh, too too horribly unbalanced either way. Uh, I feel like I think Mewtwo does win here on Battlefield. I though. He'll have a much better time off stage for sure. Um, that being able to camp some platforms, uh, not that well against Mewtwo, but as we see here, charging limit on platform. Yeah, getting his limit fully charged, that's gonna let him just be buffed. And when he's buffed, he know he can approach exactly how he wants to. Already 74% getting caught in that neutral air. It only takes one or two strings here from Mewtwo, though, to even this up. Possibly even get a kill. At this percent, one string could do it. Yeah, he can maybe find a, a, a Nair Footstool Disable at this percent. Might not kill on Battlefield, but it would certainly be plenty of damage. And that up smash, you can't sleep on. Yeah. That is going to grab ledge here. Nair trying to drag him off stage, it looked like. Eating that with his shield. Not able to get the back air punch on the dash attack. Um, a little bit unfortunate for Ned. He's just trying to find his way through this neutral right now on Wadi. It's like these two are taking turns just having impeccable reads on each other's neutrals. Yeah, I would say neither of them really go back and forth in the neutral. It's either one's dominating the neutral or they're losing horribly in the neutral. Indeed. And no serious tech read, but that's a super important fare here for Wadi. Clearing out that limit before it can be spent on any kind of resource either recovery or offensive, where Cross Slash could have killed. Cross, uh, especially in a late character like Mewtwo, Cross Slash could have been the death. All right. That approaching with a uh, dash attack there. Um, he saw that Mewtwo committed to a second jump. The second jump doesn't really sweet spot too hot. You'd rather sweet spot with a teleport, because Mewtwo's second jump is so big and so floaty. It'll, it'll yeah. pop his head over the stage, and he had a read on that with the dash attack earlier. Ned jumping right over the down tilt, getting that back air to lock up this stock. Back it even here, but Wadi starting a string. Oh my god. Four goodness. fares. He's gonna have to recover there with limit. Yeah, you gotta burn the climb hazard. That's gonna put Ned back on square one here, charging that limit up again. Oh, oh and that should just do the stock. Wow, that should okay. just be it. He doesn't have a jump. Yep. He was never able to touch the ledge and get that jump back, and that's just gonna be the stock. Excellent Wadi's, read there. Wadi just sniping him out. Wadi sitting comfortably there. Ned looking like he's biting some nails. Real nervous right now for the game to come. That Shadow Ball was just the perfect punish on trying to jump over the ledge there with it. The Sturm just got shanked by Demitis. I don't know what people are doing. I assume Demitis is leaving and I'm going to wave goodbye. Oh, no, he's watching the set. Okay, oh, he's watching okay. the set. He just came up and shanked you for no apparent I guess I just needed to be stabbed. Anyway, game four! Game four on Janklat. I reached <laughs> so hard there. That was horrible. That was definitely a reach. But it's okay. We love you anyway. Game four. <laughs> I'm so pretty, right? <laughs> game four here. Wadi is a net down in loser side. Ned needs two back-to-back -back wins here. Wadi needs only one to remain un- defeated in the sets that he has come to face so far in Chicago this week. Yeah, remember, if Ned wins two sets, he gets like $300. Or if sorry, Ned, two, yeah, more, two games in a row. Two games in a row. If Ned even resets the bracket, he makes close to $300 off that bounty. If not, I would say Wadi gets around 100 of it, a free flight back home. And uh, pot rolls over for next week to our chic invader, mystery invader. Not to mention the, uh, of course, there's the the winnings from the weeklies. True. Those are still, of Very course, true. on the line. Oh, and that's wow. rough. Okay, he will still get that sweet spot. If he didn't get that sweet spot on the ledge, Wadi could have done all sorts of dirty things to him. Oh, babe. The Cloud players are pretty mixed on their opinion of Lilat while that down smash connects and takes the stock. That's a good start here for Ned. Neutral um, B, not sure if that was on purpose or not. I do not think that was on purpose. He's already got his limit back. That's excellent here for Ned. He has limit back, and he just needs to stack some percent on here. Wadi is one of the best Mewtwo's I've ever seen with controlling that Shadow Ball and knowing when to pull the trigger. 
it's amazing. Like, just the thought process he has of, I need to release this now, or I'm going to charge this and use it as a mix-up. He hits more Shadow Balls than he should, by far. See, he understands how much pressure a Shadow Ball puts on at any given particular moment. I think that's oh, what it is. Yeah. Shadow Ball is a fantastic tool, and Amy right there forces Ned to use a jump and forces him to get rid of his recovery and his limit. It wouldn't have mattered there anyway. And he looked to land that up tilt, or I'm sorry, that up air. He got grabbed out of it and up thrown. But here's quick damage right back. Mewtwo gonna kind of struggle to land against Cloud. But now it's Mewtwo's turn to make the string. Coming out. Ned regains stage control here, which is exactly where he wants to be. Right in the middle of that stage. Boys are coming out again. That's good damage here for Wadi. He just want he they're battling for the middle of the stage right now. They absolutely are. You don't want to be anywhere on these outsides, on these angled plats, uh, in Lilat. Middle of the stage is exactly where you want to be. Some people don't even especially want to go cloud. off stage, especially as Cloud. And that is not gonna do it! He's living. He's we'll make, make it back it on back stage though. Recovery. Dash attack, not that long of a lingering hitbox. Too far away for the back air to connect for the kill. We might have a game five here if Ned can seal it out, but do not sleep on Wadi. He can clutch it out here. Nair footstool disables a thing. Lots of things to do, but he's there gonna punish it, it! As you were talking about, stairway to heaven, he takes it. Limit climb hazard is busted. You heard it here. You heard it here. I'm like, who punishes Nair? Who punishes that? I kill? expected a punish there, but I did not expect the up B out of shield. I expected a limit cross slash. Um, limit cross slash comes out like frame, like twelve. I, I, I ain't got time to punish. <laughs> I ain't got twelve frames to punish you. Well, as long as the auto cancel on there, it's gonna is hit you on frame four. Longer than that. You can punish Sheik fair on shield with limit cross with limit yeah, climb hazard. That's, that's boosted. That move is so crazy. It's good to see Muffin back at a tournament tonight. Yeah, Muffin's here for, uh, he's here for fall break. Okay. He's going back to college after Glad this week. You, Muffin. And we'll have Town and City be the pick for Wadi in this very important game five. Very important game five. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that's a pretty important game five from the crowd, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah bus driver knows. Bus driver is here, not accompanied by John L. Ned just taking his sweet, sweet time, jumping on these platforms, charging some limit. Both these players playing super patient. Ooh, wow, the shield is running low there on Wadi. Platforms are gonna not come in handy here for Ned. Ned able to put on some pretty actually ridiculous shield pressure at the moment. Absolutely, Wadi's shield is almost done for right there. Ned's limit is fully charged. Percents are very, very even right now. Neither of them look like they're both scared to commit to anything there. Yeah, these two are really just feeling each other out right now. Yeah. Lots of download happening right now. Lots you of movement. see it in Ned's eyes. His glasses are like cookie from Ned's Classified. Like, the Cookie's movement from glasses. both these players is pretty crazy. Like... Oh! Oh! Almost gets it. Barely misses the, uh, the double jump cancel there. That is so hard to perform, by the way. I spent a couple of hours I. working on it, and I can promise you it is tough to perform. I can get it on like a Bowser computer, but not in game. If he would have got it there, I would have lost it. That would have been style to the max. He would have had an apartment mm -hmm. in Ned's head after that moment. That's the stock. That is the stock. He is one stock away from fighting off the invader, collecting on that bounty. And uh, that's, there's a lot of money on the line on this, by the way, guys. A lot of money. He's so close. He just starts any percent right now is amazing percent. But as we saw, Wadi can bring back games like this. He did it against Bushi when the he odds against were against Bushi. him. Here we go. Up throw to the sky. He's not going to do it. Good that, li there. that limit gravity buff helping him out on the low ceiling in Town and City. That's going to give him a little bit of extra time. He might be able to burn this limit offensively too, just to add a little just bit extra add credit. Percent. Yeah, I mean. If he's if he's gonna die off stage, I think he would rather take the stock right now. But Ned, deciding he doesn't want to do that, stacking to percent on getting a pretty decent lap almost here. 63, the numbers climbing. Ned is playing his game so well. Ned is on his game right now. He's 
Oh, but he's going to get shadow oh. right out of that, and that is big for Wadi. That is big for Wadi. This percent lead is not crazy. It's it's extremely possible for Wadi to do this. Stacks on some more with a non-limit cross slash. Oh, and he was looking for the forward air. That would have been a big damage in return. And But remember, also, Wadi is always a gimp away from sealing the steal. Very true. And we've seen Wadi make some pretty crazy comebacks already tonight. And here comes the big damage! Back. Down tilt it has so much reach across the grab and net. Limit is charged. This, If there is a time to pull the trigger, it is now. He was looking for those air dodge lands. Wadi does not give one up. Oh, oh that was. But he does, and he oh, does it! Slash. That is it! Ned does it. Well done, Ned. That is Ned the set. is going to collect the bounty of the invader. And we are going to reset the bracket apart from that. So we're going to see if Ned is going to take the whole thing against Wadi here. Or if Wadi is going to say, no, 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 not again. Ned's not done. I don't think Ned is done, though. Like, he kind of wants to win the tournament. Ned is looking to win the tournament. If I mean, I've, as long as I've known Ned. Done. Yeah. I don't think he's going to get complacent just knowing that he's taking the bounty. He's got to win the tournament. He's, like, yeah. he's, here to, he's here to defend Chicago. The defender. The Ned Fender. The God, Ned Fender. horrible. Why do you let me on the mic? You know, I asked the same question. Why do you come out to a strong start, though? A couple of up airs do even it up, though. Gets what? the disabled, man! Ah, limit does not matter. Fully charged up smash is absolutely going to be the death of Ned here. I don't even know how he set that up, set up that disable. That was just crazy. He just kind of went for it. It's like a... Uh, Catching short hops in the neutral with an up smash. You just kind of go for it. Yeah, I do agree. That was very hot. Like, the way he was fading down because he was going to grab ledge, like, it was not that high risk. It was not, yeah. It was It was a pretty safe all things, move. All things considered, it was not that high risk, and the reward was super great, as you can see. Putting Wadi in a very good spot here at the start of game one. Ooh, expected Wadi to come up and beat him. Trulair starting all these strings again. He's getting punished really hard here for just trying to grab the ledge. Good start here for Wadi. He's answering back very strong. Very, very strong. Wadi's not happy about that loss. Oh, and Whoa. another very aggressive climb hazard gets Ned out of trouble. Good cancel on it, though. He, uh, he could have fallen to his death there. He's got to get this limit back in line, and he's got to find this stock without limit. Use the buffs from Limit to get Wadi to another like percent skill. where he can kill with a Climb Hazard. Climb Hazard kill is a possibility right now. I would say at this percent. Catches him with an up air, doesn't even need it. Yeah, basically in that same patch where they nerfed Cloud's up air, they also buffed Mewtwo's weight. But Mewtwo's so light already, it didn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> like, up air is still going to kill at the percents it used to. Back throw gonna put Ned off stage, oh, burning that burn limit. Him. Did the turnaround recovery there. Oh, it's tricky. Okay, he'll make it out of the neutral airs. Popping balloons on his way. That was a little kid's balloon, Ned. He got it at Red Robin. He just killed his dreams. And again, Ned. Now it's Ned's turn to play just incredibly patient. Why are you getting caught by some stuff? But that dare on landing actually gonna get him out of trouble. All right. You know, that move surprisingly right auto-cancels, or, or at least it doesn't have much lag. Which move is that? Mewtwo's Dare. Mewtwo's Dare? It has a surprisingly little amount of lag for a spike. Does it have a decent auto-cancel window? To the skies is gonna do it. That's gonna be game one here for Wadi. That's gonna, uh, he needs two more wins to win both tournaments, even though he did drop a set. He did drop a set. So Ned is going to take the bounty. Ned takes the bounty for sure. There's a lot of money there. That should be. I feel like if you only beat him in one set, if you send him to losers, I feel like you should get two, half. One, go. Oh, we might need to work on the formula, but I... Yeah, this is only week one. There are plenty, plenty, of, not plenty of things to work on, but plenty of things that can be considered. Improvements I also... that can be made. I think, it was, I think it went amazing this first time. Uh, I hope uh, Wadi had a great time coming out here. Yeah, I hope. Bro. I think Wadi had a great time. I think we have a lot of viewers for our stream, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, and this is the most 
people that have actually come from the weekly to watch Grands. Yeah, to stay in a long and watch time. Grands, we have like a, a pretty true. large crowd watching everything going on here. But Wadi, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, 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 he's gonna make it back. To Wadi, not happy about losing the bounty. He is out with a vengeance right now. Yeah, he's pressing. Him. He's using this platform to the best of his ability there. He's pressing every button, and it's all good, dude. Every single button. That was filthy. Charging that shadow ball while Ned charges his limit. Mm -hmm. um, I think that right now. What was that trade there? Right, right now, Wadi's just able to put on great pressure. And all that shadow ball would have been so big if he could have landed. That would have been like 25, 27 extra credit. But instead, he gets cross slashed out of his air dodge. This is gonna put Ned back in the game. He's only taken 68% so far. This is doable. This is doable. Spot dodges galore. No one touched each other for like a solid seven seconds there. Ned retreats. He gets his limit back and he gets a dare to up air. Ned's movement is so good. Just watching him play, it's so smooth. He, he, the second he lands, he's doing another option. He's darting in and out of effective ranges he super well. He does not stay still for very long unless he's setting up a ledge option, just like he did there. But other than that, he is moving. Just bow, bow, bow. Looking like a hammy from over the hedge on coffee. Oh, looking for the second nair. To punish the second that. Nair. I think he realized he wasn't going to be able to get the footstool disable and just went for the next nair. Having to burn the limit. Cross us goes back on stage. Didn't sweet spot the ledge. Isn't gonna matter. Surprised that he didn't go for up throw, even though I don't know if it would have killed. Now Wadi looking for that grab. That grab should certainly kill at this point. Especially because he kept it fresh earlier. Wadi's up throw is definitely not stale at all right now. Cloud has a lot of great ways to play around grab, though, if he can just space his aerials appropriately. Not get hit by Aaron Shadow Balls. Yeah, that's that's where Wadi is really gonna try to mess up Ned's neutral. It's just messing up the timing with Shadow Balls. Wadi uses this Shadow Ball like a sheep uses needles. It's just he's so often. Mm -hmm. Takes a breath. And he uses the B reverse so well too. Yeah, he, yeah, his B reverse and wave bouncing is so good. And that's a 2-0 lead here for Wadi. Ned's got to win 3-0 to win the tournament. Wadi can still claim um, both first place victories at Ignition and Poplar, mm -hmm. which is a hefty chunk of change. Which like, is a very hefty chunk. We've had most of Chicago's PR come to either or. Uh, JJ, our number one, but to both. Ned, our number two, uh, coming to Poplar tonight. Uh, well, our new PR is not out yet. So this is... Yeah, those uh, numbers may or may not yeah, change. They may or may not change, yes. And yeah, just bum rushing in with down tilts. He's been doing that uh, quite frequently in these games. More more than I see most other clouds do. I kind of like his down tilt usage. It kind of covers like a, a range that's hard to cover against Mewtwo. Especially if it slides under Shadow Ball. It might go under Jab as well. Very true. Like I the higher hitboxes. too much of jabbing come out of Wadi. Uh, which is interesting because I think Mewtwo's jab is a solid tool. Mewtwo's will generally go for like jab one to grab or jab one to down tilt, stuff like that. Doesn't get the spike there. And the way Ned's crossing up Wadi's shield right now is so beautiful. With these dares. Oh my gosh, excuse me. You just caught your yawn. Yeah. You gave it to me. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't even and that know you like that. <laughs> okay, a lot of opportunities to just throw out a cross slash on a punish, but Ned's not getting the reaction in time, and I don't blame him. It, it's easy from our armchair spot here to just say, oh, you should react to these things. Right, yeah. <laughs> and Aaron there, Ned. Right out of shield. Intangibility. Ned right there, he just caught him reaching a bit with that disable again. Going for it again. Interesting choices here. Such you, a you gotta up, keep the fear really, of God in them, man. Yeah, right. Like, you never really expect a Mewtwo to, you know, fish for that. Good, nice little DBZ moment there. That's so actually not an awful trade for Ned. Anytime you're up a stock and you take a trade where you don't die, it's a good trade. 
Ned does want to hold on to his limit as long as he can, though. He's going to want to hold on to it. He, he's going to want to use it before he loses the stock, though. That's for sure. He doesn't use it in... That keeps him alive, though. What? Comes right back down. Fast falls right with a cross slash to the don't think so. The limit A kept him alive. Yep. And B helped him seal out a two stock. Absolutely. Game four. Game four here. We're gonna be moving off of Smashville for the first time, I believe. Wadi has shown that he likes to go to Battlefield. Oh no, I guess not. Three, Maybe they gentlemaned it. One, Can you gentlemen with DSR in play? You can gentlemen whenever you want. Okay. So I'm sure they just gentlemen then. Yeah, you can you can gentlemen out of DSR. Um, you can gentlemen out of a ban. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Although I don't I don't know banned, why you yeah. I don't know why you would, but you technically could. You technically could, yeah. I'm gonna ban this stage. Can we go there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> Wadi taking a pretty strong lead here, but Ned does have his limit. That neutral are going to catch him just a little bit. Um, so you got down tilt up air coming out here from down Wadi. They're so bread and butter and so just good. Good percent, good stage control after. Mewtwo's combo so tree is so fun. It is. Like, he has so many off. Like. Whoa! Ned boy! Sending him to the drain! Oh, man! Boy, read that like a pastor reads a Bible. Goodness. What percent lead? And a quick 40% off of four up airs. Ned's mad, dude. Ned is upset. Ned is mad. Ned smash. Ned smash. Wadi looking for some kind of back air pressure, but Ned just doesn't care setting him off. We are going to a game five after a game five earlier that reset the bracket. To another game five here in grand finals. Was winners finals a game five or was it game four? Winners finals was game. Four. I think it was game four. four. I think it was game four because I was so Midas and Ned. No, that was Ned and Ned and Wadi again. You said winners finals. Oh yeah, yeah, all yeah, oh, these guys were in winners finals. Right, right, right. Uh, no, that was a that was a three one. Uh, that, okay, yeah, it was three one. Three one. So it is game fourteen. Game 14. A deciding game 14. Not as deciding as game 9, but... Uh, that's pretty deciding, and Wadi's playing like there's a lot on the line. 74% already unanswered, and that nice short hop backwards. Gonna get him around that down tilt. If down tilt was doing so much work for him, like you said, maybe Wadi's adapting. Maybe. Not letting it's uh, I mean, any slide like that is so punishable if you just know that it's coming out. Oh, why do you just reaching for a disable right there? You saw the animation. Not I mean, quite the sparks. Again, but... the risk reward there was very slanted. Right. Like if that disable lands, you get a kill. If that disable doesn't land, you just fast fall down like you did. Yeah. Not very much risk, very high reward. But now Ned has a stage control and he can convert this. We've seen him convert from these deficits with stage control to just dominating a game. So Wadi has to be super careful. Mewtwo has a fantastic back step. Uh, if you uh, just dash in and roll back, it's so quick. It, it looks like a Captain Falcon almost. It's, I mean, Wadi's using it almost consistently in neutral here. Second forward air going to seal out the stock. Ned on tournament stock. Last chance for Chicago to win a weekly that Wadi was present at. Our boy, Ned, dude. He's got the Roy tag because he knows that Roy's our boy. Indeed. He may not be viable, but he is our boy. Hey, tell Masha that. <laughs> oh, man, just reaching for Oh, and the cross slash counter. He cross knew that Wadi was going to overextend, wow. try to get a gimp that would seal out the game immediately, and then cross slash, just a great answer. Ned doing pretty good here on his last stock, uh, not giving Wadi too much room to run away with it. Oh, and the shark! Tomahawk! That wasn't a real tomahawk, it was just a tomahawk cross slash. He just snuck in there. He's just like, I know you're gonna flinch, and I got you in my sights. Woo. We go, last stock, last game, last set, last hope for Chicago. Uh, Wadi is pressing buttons. Ooh. Right now, though. It was good SDI on Ned's part to get back onto the stage there. Avoid the stage spike, yep. 
Oh, that's it. Was gonna do it. Oh, Wadi. Ned smiled. What a, a fantastic run. Give it up for our boy, Ned. What a way Wadi. to clinch the tournament. Finally gets the tech chase read there with Disable with forward disable. smash. Boom. Wadi takes it. Wadi had such a fantastic run. Thank you so much, Wadi, for coming on. Thank you for Smash Studios for letting us steal your player for the week here. Yeah, it was fun. It's such a fantastic run. Hugs are done by Muffin. Wadi able to take Ignite and Poplar. He did drop but one set to Ned. Mm -hmm. The only set he played the entire run in both tournaments was dropped to... This is me. Hi, Hi this is me. That's Sturm. What's up? Hi, Sturm. I stepped on my on my headset. See, that's how the cord breaks. Do you want to sit down? Nah, I'm just standing here for a minute. I'm going to do the plugs in a sec. Okay. So, plugs time? Plugs time. I do like plugs. All right, guys. Um, we're going to run through the plugs real quick before we do get to the exciting part. Oh, um, yeah. Midwest Mayhem 5 is November 5th! Midwest Mayhem 5, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably, uh, apart from Big House, I would say one of the premier Midwest tournaments run by yours truly, Events to Compete. It's a fantastic turnout. Um, uh, last time, I believe, Ally came. Uh, Ryuga was definitely there, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the Michigan talent. always shows up in force. We're always Michigan. so happy to have him. Yep. This year, uh, the theme is uh, Midwest versus Best of the Midwest. We're going to be having a Chicago crew versus a Michigan crew versus a Ohio crew versus a uh, St. Yeah. Louis. This one, um, if you guys are coming out from fellow Midwest states, we will offer you carpool compensation. So please message the TOs here. We will help you out in that regard. You can message Joe. Joe, uh, it's E2C underscore Joe. Uh, you can message Sturm at Lord, what? Lord Sturm 473. Lord Sturm 473. Uh, you can also message me. I'm a TO out here. Uh, UGS underscore Mick on Twitter. Any questions can be uh, any questions that I can answer. I will do my best. And guys, the uh, the uh, flagship sponsor for the Invasion Weekly Series is UGS. Or no, you're UGC. That's yes, me. this is UGC. UGC. Whatever. Okay, killing me. UGC Open Series. St. Louis running Smash 4 and Smash Melee. $40,000! $40,000. You heard that right. No, uh, you $40,000. That's so much dollars. Bonus. So much dollars. That's a lot of dollars. It's many so dollars. many dollars. Guys, go to that one. It'll be hype. And then the other tournament we're going to be plugging right now is Showdown Battle Royale. Showdown Battle Royale. The week after UGC, okay. a little bit across the Midwest in Mount Clemens, Michigan at the Gibraltar Trade Center. First player confirmed, it's Death. Death, the Robin player that took third at Super Smash Con. The man's a god. The man is, he's a Robin god, using those bows.